So this video is to remind myself, kind of document um, the dream I had a couple days ago, the day before yesterday. And um, yeah, I, I, yes, I, I usually don't dream. So that's, that's why it's a big deal. That's why it's going to be a big deal to myself to let myself know. And if anybody's watching this and is real big on dreams, uh, then maybe this makes a difference um, or means something or, you know, it might be interesting. However, um, today is, where is my phone? Let's see. Today is... March 11th, Friday, 2022. Mm, going on. So I had this dream, possibly on the 9th. And it came to me after I had some company. Now... Before I get into it, I want to say that, um, of course, I know myself, and I'm going to say I'm going to remind myself and let others know that I'm a fairly, if not very, intuitional person. Um, super, I would consider myself intrinsic, meaning I know myself very well. Okay, I know myself very well. All right. I, I know what to expect. You know, probably not a lot surprises me, you know, um, or I don't have too much of interest for a lot of stuff uh, or whatever. Anyhow, um, aside from that, uh, I'm a people person. However, I like to, um, I'm okay with uh, socializing. I'm, I'm good at socializing. I, I don't really like to be social. Um, not really a social person. Very, uh, I would say I'm a just compassionate, considered individual. On the other end, I'm ha. You know, we all got our our craziness, our our dark side, our, the worst of the worst parts about ourselves. Um, as far as I'm concerned, you know, there's nothing too much great about me. Um, you get to know me, and, you know, you'll figure out something not to like or whatever. Anyways, um, so that's enough about me. Uh, let's get more into this, this dream I had. Uh, anyways, jumping back to where I was, um, the, this company I had, no chill person, I guess, um, I was a woman, a female, um, about 28, uh, and, uh, she just, um, uh, she was cool, you know, it's about the, this would have been the second time that we kicked it, and it would have been the two times in a row, so the second time we kicked it, uh, or the first time we kicked it was the day before this, uh, so... We're getting it again later on in the evening about the same time, which is awkward, you know. You know, I pay attention to, to certain stuff and how people show up and leave or what they say they're going to do and don't. You know, that that's what we should do, you know, right? <laughs> you don't want to get uh, taken advantage of or misled or anything, you know. I mean, in the end, whose fault is it, really? If somebody gets the best of you, you know, we can almost hold ourselves accountable. I mean, we should ourselves be responsible for someone taking us for granted or whatever, you know. Um, damn, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I was listening to her and 
watched how she showed up and talk, um, the text, you know, she didn't really respond. Like, I can't, I really don't like that. You know, I'm talking to you and, you know, um, I could tell somebody with a poor vocabulary, or a, you know, just a bad outlook. You know, their, vo their vocabulary is just like real jacked up. They cussing a lot, whatever. Yeah. Easily, easily tempered, you know, easily aggravated. You know, I am too. I, at the same time, I'm not going to, I really don't allow people to see me get upset too often. Um, you know, I'm not really trying to lash out or to be seen. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, I'm chilling and I'm not even trying to explain all the weird things that I felt or that I went through having the company of this individual, uh, this woman, younger lady, not too much younger. Um, I'm 35, she's about 28, she said, and yeah, so that's that's that. And um, anyway, so she leaves. Before she had showed up, I was already getting ready for bed. I'm, I'm about to go to bed early, you feel me? I'm, I'm tired, I'm dog tired. I'm taking care of stuff, you know, taking care of my babies. And um, aside from that, you know, I just like, I finally decided I owe it to myself to like, yo, bro, you know, to tell myself like, chill out, you know, sit down, be quiet, you know, and stay out the way. Don't even worry about trying to talk to your daughters or teach them anything. Let them mess up for a little bit on their own or whatever they, whatever they end up doing. I came in my room and chill. She came, got up or got dressed, got up. Got a good dress, went down and get her. Came in, chill. Chief real quick, and then while we were chiefing, had a cool little conversation. That was pretty much it. She leaves. I go to bed about an hour later, which is about 9 o'clock. You know, because we chill for an hour. She got here around 7, I believe, and, or, yeah, around 7. Left around 8, 8 or 9 probably eight so she leaves about eight sometime and I go to bed about nine now nothing out of the ordinary aside from our you know interactions and the, the feelings or whatever I was getting or that I was picking up on you know but check this out now I go to sleep and it's like um like I said I never have dreams and as I'm sleeping, all of a sudden I see myself like either falling into a pool or being thrown into a pool. You understand me? And I'm sinking. And it's like I was already halfway in before I was uh, like halfway in the deep of the pool before I even realized that I was in the pool. And then as I as I'm halfway in falling down and I get towards the ground, somebody like four or five people jump in the water and they come down in after me. And I can't tell if they're trying to pick me up or if they're holding me down. Anyhow, um, it's wild because right when I start to fall and hit the ground and as they're jumping in down after me, um, I start to struggle. I want to struggle to get to the top. And as these people came in and they fall down to me and they, what felt like to me is that they, they, were hold, they were holding me down. You know, I thought they were, I felt like, from my understanding, they were holding me down. Because I, I felt like I went to go struggle to go to the top. But I was very calm. For some reason, I was calm in this dream. You know, feeling like I'm about to drown and stuff like that. I was pretty calm. And I go to reach for the top. And as I reach for the top, you know, it feels like these four or five people are holding me down and next thing you know um you know I just I just relax like there's a there's a peace that came over me and I let go and I close my eyes and when I opened them again you know what happened I was some somewhere I don't I don't know but I was in the midst of like um chaos I could see um, the the ground cracking open, 
it's like watching 2012 just on a in a in a closer you know more in in person perspective and i'm like wow like i'm seeing these fires i'm seeing people fall through the ground and things fall on them um I don't know. It's just, um, it's just wild to me. And there was something else that there, cause this, this dream was like three parts. You know what I mean? And th those are the first two parts. And I'm bringing this up and I'm talking to myself and, you know, just sharing it. If, uh, cause I'm gonna put this on this going to be on, you know, a channel, a channel that I really don't work on or, take too much pride in at the uh, same time. You know, like I said, I'm not really trying to get noticed or anything. Um, yeah, I'm just like, dang. It's significant to me because if I still am here living this life, maybe 10 years from now, whatever, me being a believer and a follower of Yahshua, Christ Jesus, me being a believer and a follower of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Jehovah, Jirah, however, okay, is what I, what I know him, um, know them as, um, you know, um, and I've been baptized plenty of times. And I actually just got baptized with my daughters because three months ago, three, four months ago, my daughters, you know, for the past two and a half years that I gained custody of them and being a single parent, they, uh, I've been teaching them the best I can, not only about their culture, um, you know, as far as their heritage, what, how, what, what, what their ethnicity is made of and, you know, um, not religion, However, um, things that involve religion, you know, like prayer, like drawing to things, like, uh, drawing to God, not things, but drawing to God and knowing Jesus or knowing God, understanding that, um, you know, um, teaching them about how to protect themselves and things that I went through, you know, growing up uh, in foster care or without really uh 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 in tune um uh a uh, 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 close knit or you know healthy family background um you know so everything i could you know because i was in a separation with their uh their mother uh you know i felt like i was way behind on what it means to be a parent you know so during that time, we were I was separated from them. You know, of course, I did everything I could. I provided groceries, clothes. At the same time, providing for your child, to me, is not being a parent. It's just a provider. Being a parent, it consists of rearing and, you know, like constantly being behind it's like micromanaging or like, you know, managing of a sort, you know, but in a more caring and concerned way, you know, of course, like whatever's whatever, you know, you get it. Not whatever's whatever, but you understand. Um, so, yeah, that's that's kind of what I was dealing with, you know, and so the past couple of years, I've really been pouring out and you know what I continue to pour out into them, you know, knowledge and whether I got to repeat it or not, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm reiterating or whatever it takes, you know? Um, yeah, I just, um, I want the best from them. anyways. Um, so teaching them all this stuff, the harsh realities or the things about life and the truth of things and the reality of things, um, as far as how, what I took from what I'm 
growing in myself, how I believe it, and what I see, you know, um, this and that. And then a lot of times I, I was teaching them about Christ and, or, you know, other times, you know, other than life, you know, you know where I'm going with this. So on the, on the, on the lines, on the subject on the, of uh, God and the Lord, I was doing all this for some time and I was just, I was really surprised that they asked, you know, even before they asked to be baptized about three, four months ago, um, they, you know, I played some, um, I play music for them to go to sleep, uh, while they fall asleep. Like maybe I'll play, uh, uh, audio story or I'll read a story, you know, cause the karaoke machine has, um, it has, uh, you know, um, a microphone, I can sit off in my room while the system's in the hallway or whatever, and they can listen to it. Um, I'll read them a story, or I'll play an audio book, or I'll play classical music, or I'll play meditating music, or I'll play affirmations. Um, another thing uh, is um, on YouTube, uh, one of my favorite things that I would do for them which was what I'm getting, what I'm talking, what I'm trying to t tell you is, um, that, um, the commandments of Jesus, the commandments of Yahshua, you know, or whatever, how, however you know him. Okay. That I would play those for him and, um, play, play those for them. And, you know, what choice they got, they listen, you know, and they fall asleep. Well, lo and behold, couple months down the line or a couple weeks or a few days here and there I'm not playing that particularly and they're requesting it like hey I want to know and I'm like you know at first one point I got upset and I'll tell you why I got upset let me tell you why I got upset okay I got upset because there was just the one of the first times that they requested it and I was so surprised um, I was upset because I felt like, you know, I was forcing something on them, you know, and I didn't want them to feel forced to want to listen or to listen to just like principles of life, you know, just the laws of the Lord, the laws of, you know, Jesus, those are simple things that everybody should understand. Like it is, it, it's like, it's not like. You know, whether whether the commandments, whether where there's a commandment, you know, I mean, the Lord, the Messiah did not always talk in parables. OK, and so it's just. Yeah, I just and the fact that they wanted to know more about his way of teaching or to know about him and exactly who he was not or who he is, it's just. It was just like, wow, you know, I'm over here. So when they told me that when I got upset and I was surprised and I'm like, because I asked them what they wanted to listen to because I didn't, I stopped, you know, after I'll start things for them and then I'll leave it up to them to kind of decide what's more their flavor, you know, much more for them, um, you know, to, to build or grow with or, you know, you get it. And they told me they was like, I want to listen to the commandments of Jesus. I want to hear the, we want to hear the commandments of Jesus. And I'm like, I got upset. I was like, what? Are you sure? Are you sure you want this? Like, what do you, what, what makes you want this? What, what, what are you asking this for? What are you saying that for? I was like, do you feel like I'm forcing you to do this? Like, don't do this because don't, don't tell me you want this on because that's what you feel that I want you to. Or, of course, I want them to do that, you know? I want them to know the Lord. I want them to know God. I want them to know that this world is just a place we're passing through and we're not supposed to get comfortable. That, um, you know...